Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing part two of the page we're doing in this book here. Linda Ravenscroft Fairy and Fantasy Art Book number one. And we're doing this page here. Part one is this section here. And we're going to do a little work on um, something here. <laughs> One of the things I did is I tried to put a little color in her hair and I didn't like it so I tried to erase it and I wanted to show you something that was kind of interesting here. Notice that the butterflies are quite dark and this one ended up a little lighter. I noticed that when I used my eraser here and let's see we'll do this butterfly here because I already did some of that. If you just take your eraser you can <laughs> lighten the uh, darkness of the grayscale here if you like. Now that's just the um, what's, what's it, Sumo Grip eraser that I bought to replace one of my erasers. I use erasers a lot. I mean if you've watched my channel you know I make mistakes all the time and I love to erase them. This is just uh, the M fat uh, matte um, whatever you want to call it rechargeable eraser. I'll leave a link down below. And you can really get in here and add some details or take out as much color from an area that you like. So if you want the inside lighter when you color it, just erase some of that. Get rid of it completely if you want. <laughs> But I mean, you can easily lighten them up that way. I don't know if that's been shown before, but since you're watching on this channel, I mean, that's kind of cool, I thought, because I was wondering how I was going to color those really dark butterflies. Because you have some light ones here um, with some nice light coloration in them. And then if you wanted to have like a lighter or brighter color down in here, you can just erase it. I thought that was just cool. So there we go. Gonna lighten that one up. I think I'll lighten this little guy over here too. And maybe this little guy down here. I don't know if you can see this little one. So I'm just trying to um, get the colors to, to come down around here. This little guy here too. That way my colors will go down a little easier on the paper. So what I'm going to do is get the camera down a little bit and we will color some butterflies up, okay? Hopefully that's not too close or too obnoxious. I'm going to get out some uh, luminance pencils. I'm going to do him uh, kind of in the orange and red tones that I normally do butterflies in, but I have no idea what colors I'm going to pull out here. I need a red. Do I not have a red red? <laughs> Got like pinks. I'm going to get out a yellow too. Not that one. This one looks a little nicer. There we go. So I just grabbed some colors here. Uh, since they are luminance, they're going to be hard to read. So I'll just turn them and, oh boy. One is orange, one is terracotta, one is uh, anthrodone carmine, and the other one is bismuth yellow. Okay. I think you can see the numbers there. I got a bunch of pencils on that side, so we'll see if we erased it enough to get a yellow going in here. And yeah, we did. It might be a little gray, so I'm going to bring the yellow out to about here. So I'm just going to erase that area a little more. Erase the yellow I put in there already. <clears throat> Just 
get a nice little base down there of the yellow. Then we're going to go in with orange. I'll turn it just a tiny bit so I don't have to turn my wrist so hard. go in with the terracotta. We'll see how that works. I'm going to go back in with the orange. Just putting a little more pressure on that pencil. And then our yellow. I might even get a brighter yellow than that. What do we have here? What are you? medium cadmium yellow with some initials after it <laughs> so okay medium cadmium yellow IMT or something and it's a uh, not sure what that is but we're gonna add that in there just a little brighter than the other one okay I'm going to bring back in the, ah, the red and just add that back in. Okay, we're going to throw a little bit of white in the area up here just to brighten it up a little. And it's just plain white. Okay, now in the uh, little white areas up here, I think I'm going to go ahead and add in some of that orange in here. This is the terracotta and then the red. The brighter of the yellows, which was that bismuth. And 
then let's see if we have a bit deeper red color here. Okay, we have, um, well, two of these. Which one is darker? This one's a red, more red in it. So, Chrisman, Chrisman, that, that sound right? <laughs> Alzarian Hue. Crimson. And we'll add some of that in there. Eraser. Big eraser. Where did it go? I got a little of that red in her hand. I want that out before it sets in there too hard. Put a little of that red over here. Then I'm going to take in some. Um, I have it out here on my desk somewhere. It's the Bordeaux from the Light Fast set. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to get this little line right here. A little darker. Okay, then we're going to bring in the black, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> light fast. We're going to darken this line here. We're going to darken this line here. We're going to accentuate this out a little bit. And go down this side. butterfly and we can add some sorry I keep moving the page but I'm not used to the camera down that low I was asked by one of my subscribers if I could get the camera down a little lower so I am trying I'm going to take the eraser and just kind of bring in a highlight On some of those. We're going to try to lighten those up just a little bit more. What I have here, I have a uh, Prisma White, so we're going to throw that in there.
because I want them a little lighter. Then we're going to go back in with the orange. All right, there we go, one butterfly. So that's to match um, her headpiece here. We brought some of those colors over, and if you want, you can just pull some of those colors into here by just grabbing some of those reds. throwing them in there. That one was the Crimson oh, Alizarian you. <laughs> the last red one I picked up. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I think we can do, I want to do him in blues or greens. I need another one. But I don't want it up that high, so we'll do this little guy down here. And we'll give him a little quick eraser down here, and there we go. We'll erase a little bit more of this up here. Terracotta. Go around with the black pencil.
We'll put in his antennas later. I have to color those wings. Then we'll add in the red up here. Orange. and the yellow. And if you want, you can throw a little white in here too. Go around all those areas with black if you like, if you want to bring those out a little bit more. Got two butterflies. Okay, I'm gonna do another one up here somewhere. Which one of those? I think maybe that one. Yellow first. Going in with the terracotta. Then go around the black. Go. So 
So we have three of the same color, except for this one's a little muddy. Still gonna work on that though. Try to get that lighter with the yellow in there. Pressing pretty hard with that color. Try to get it in there a little bit better. Then a little orange on it. That is terracotta. I wanted orange. Well, that brightened it up a little bit. Not as much as the other ones, but it's okay. Okay. Now, let's see. We will try to do our hair. Since we're in frame with that. In here you can also erase if you don't like how dark it is. I'm going to do dark hair, so... I mean, it will lift up. I'm going to do kind of black color. So we're just going to go in with black and pull some of this out. Sharp point if you have one. This is the um, black in the light fast. all those pencils out of my way. We're going to bring in a midnight black. And that's going to be a dark um, blue color in there. I don't know how much of this you can see, so I'm trying. all the way down. Thank you. 
So we're going to go in with not that one. <laughs> A little dark blue here, which is um, Persian blue. So we're just using tiny little strokes to go around this and adding the blue into the hair. Okay, then we're going to take in, this is, um, I think I might be able to find a different one than that. This is Dark Ocean in the Light Fast color. Use it as a shadow here. You're going to see some of her hair in here too, and we're just going to cover that up with this color. these guys out of the way. We're going to go off on the top of her head up here and lightly put that over. Okay.
Let me add a few more extra strands coming down here. Okay, now I'm just going to rub my finger on all of that. This little area up here I want to keep a little light and I have a light, 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 light uh, arctic blue. And I had it on my desk. <laughs> I moved all those pencils. And now I can't find it, of course, because I'm looking for it. Okay, Arctic blue. Well, it's Arctic. It's a blue. <laughs> so I call it Arctic blue. And we're just going to pull some of that. in here Just adding in the highlights that I took out. I'm going to bring that right down this wing because we have our colors that are going to come through there and I want them to match up. Then we can go in with the black or the, well, any color you want now. Just add in the deeper highlights, low lights. I guess it doesn't go that far. <laughs> it's part of her dress. That's her hair. I 
I want that to look more like that strand, so we're just going to darken it on the other side. There we go, and you can just play with the highlights and lowlights all you want. But I think that looks pretty good. Just going to play around just a bit more on it. That could almost be a piece of this coming up. <laughs> I don't know. I get confused sometimes when I'm looking at these pages. pretty good. We got to get a little bit of blue or black or some color here in this little straggler over on this side. This is the ocean blue dark. Okay, we're going to take the eraser and lighten up that little bottom of uh, whatever this ball is. Because I've got a little blue in there and I want it not blue. <laughs> so we're just going to add back in the um, amber gold in there. Just to brighten those up so that they stand out. Okay, right, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to take some of those same blues that we used. I mean, I know they're dark and um, kind of out there, but I'm going to color a couple of these butterflies down here in the same blue. So this little little dude down here is going to get well an eraser going on here. Okay, then we're going to throw in some of the, uh, what is this one? Uh, the Persian blue here. Which is up in our hair. I'm going to go in with the uh, Arctic. Pull it right out into the gray area. Go back over it with the Persian. Just to brighten it up a little on the little body of the dude. And then we'll find the uh, dark ocean blue instead of the black and we'll just go around and in use this as the black. The cool little butterfly. So that matches her hair up there. We're gonna do another one. Do do do. If we do one there, we can do this little little happy guy over here. Do him opposite. We're gonna take the dark ocean blue first. The Persian blue. And 
and the air duct going this way. Let me get him a little blue body. <laughs> Oops, made that too big. Well. Oh, I darkened that a little too much, so we're going to add a little more of that Arctic right in over that. Okay, two little blue butterflies. And we should probably do one of those guys up there. We've got, um, I've actually got three butterflies left. So I'm going to leave the two butterflies down here because we have the big blue hair, two blue butterflies. We've got the um, three of those, and then we have three of these little guys. There's one down here. Those can be like the leaf colors or whatever I do her wings. And I'm just going to touch up this piece of hair, too. It doesn't have any blue in it. Okay. We're going to put a little of this in her eyebrows, too. So we have got the ocean blue. And we're just going to tap it in there. Throw a little around her eye here. take a color and darken the side of her forehead. Somewhere on my desk is um, luminance colors I used on her face. <laughs> Somewhere. Dark flesh number 40. So we're just going to take this. Since this is her forehead here, her hair is kind of on the other side of this forehead. And this is the top of her forehead. So I'm going to kind of bring it down a little. A darker color. What do I have up here? Well, chestnut might be darker. Then we need to have a lighter color, <laughs> light flesh. I'm going to take the blue here, kind of come up and throw in some of that hair coming from on this side. And making that a forehead and not a part on that side. Part can be over here. So I'll throw a few little Hair's coming up from that side. Okay. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, guys, I think that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to just lift up the camera so you can see um, what she looks like with her butterflies. Get all the little dudes in there. I don't know if I can. Yeah. 
Got the two little guys down at the bottom. So see how the blue brought down the blue here and the, of course, these colors are up here, but we brought some of it down here and we'll have it down in the gold. So it will be nice and cohesive. Still haven't figured out what color I'm going to do the wings yet, but I can have plenty of time to think about it <laughs> between now and tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. I hope you're enjoying the page. This is a really pretty book. <laughs> Thank Kenny again for sending it to me. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.